Welcome to Digital Asset News, take a top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets and break them out of bite-sized pieces. So welcome back to a little Trinity Trading. I'm not much of a trader, but uh, that's why I've got uh, these two gentlemen with me. This is, uh, first of all, we've got Alex Masioli, uh, Head of Institutional Services for Bquant. Hello, Alex. Hey, how are you? I'm great. He is going to be doing our sentiment analysis with Trade the Chain. And as always, uh, we've got our man CJ over here for technical analysis from Market Rebellion. And usually how this works out is that we're gonna go through sentiment analysis first. Alex is gonna pick it and it all starts with him. If it gets through Alex, it goes to CJ where you can take a look at the technicals. Then it comes over to me for whatever reason. And I take a look at the fundamentals and we go from there. So let's see what we got. Let's start up trade the chain and which one is our winner, Alex? Sure thing. Yeah, so, uh, you know, I was looking through the screen and uh, checking out what I wanted to look at. These are the coins that I'm currently uh, covering at this uh, this point in time right here, but none of them really looked like they were giving me any substantial uh, movement or indication forward, except for one, which is NEM ticker XEM. Um, one of the things I look for, and I'm sure this has been shown on the show before, is I like the positive one hour projection. I go here first. I like the five points to the top side. And I like the relative tweet and trading volume going up uh, their percentage point 76, 76 and 98 respectively. As a daily sentiment of 72, I'm picking this right now. I'm looking for a 24 to 48 hour uh, pop-up range in price action. And the 24 hour and seven day, let me see that it's slowly moving up. I feel it has legs to go up on its momentum. Uh, with the sentiment, the sentiment, it's currently neutral for the day. Um, so it may not pop within that first 24 hours. Why give it the second 24 hours for uh, some real percentage gains? Great. So before we move on to CJ, if you are new to the whole Trinity trading thing, Alex, explain how the heck this all works. Because that just sound. if I was new to this, I'd be like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> It's a lot of gobbledygook. So how does trade the chain work and how do you get to these assessments? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, what we do is we take social media, media sentiment and data scraping um, and we take that and we go through all the different uh, postings for particular coins contextual, contextually. Uh, we're able to identify weed out bots, spam, pump and dump accounts. Um, and then what we do is we identify positive and negative uh, sentiment or, or posts that are made. And we calculate that into a score to show where sentiment is moving, whether upwards or downwards with a coin. Um, and we also are able to overlay that with pricing charts to show that it does follow uh, to a 90 degree, 90% accuracy, the price movement of the coin. That's the big thing, 90% accuracy. So, so everybody at home, if you're new to crypto, welcome. But just so you know, everything not everything, but a lot of things work on being moved by news. So as news comes up, it pushes either the, the price up or down because it is a volatile market. So that's the beauty of Trade the Chain. It takes a look at what's going on in the news, the sentiment, the tweets. It's one of, I think, four or five comp crypto companies that has a direct API into Twitter, which is where they get all the information from. So great. So let's go with NEM. So it passes through Alex. CJ, what do you got, man, for the TA? Yeah, and I agree with uh, Alex's assessment of roughly 24 to 48 hours for this uh, to increase. So let's take a look at the charts a little bit here. Um, start with the four hour because we are trending, um, putting in continuous higher lows. We have a nice support off this middle Bollinger Band right here that continues to go up. Um, what we're facing right here now is a little bit of resistance here from the top band after closing below it on that green seven right there. So we are getting a little downward momentum with a, a rejection from that top band here. But the good news from the bullish perspective is that when we reach those green nines, a lot of times they have served as a catalyst for bullish price action. And so we, we might actually see a pop on that next four hour candle. Um, and we might actually go up and, and break that uh, seven cent or uh, 70 cent level. So you think, so looking at these again, so, cause I don't know anything about TA just so everybody is aware of that. So tell me, so tell me CJ, what does all this mean as far as like the sevens and eights and the Bollinger bands as it kind of 
passes along uh, what's going on here. So yeah, I, I guess I'll just start with the, uh, the simpler concept, which is the Bollinger Bands and Thank support you. and resistance levels in general. So in trading and, and in investing and just market movements and in general, uh, very few times does price ever just go in one direction without partially retracing back to a prior level. And so when you're looking to have a particular support level, you know, the Bollinger Bands are, are automatically calculated on a couple different mathematical parameters um, with exponential moving averages and things like that. But the, the concept of support and resistance essentially is, it can be described by this flat line here. Okay. And so when we go up and test that line, since we've already been rejected at that level, that shows that that is a particular point where a lot of sellers come into the market and take profit. But when we break that level, it kind of flips. We automatically have buyers that kind of want to step in that say, okay, we've beaten all those sellers that have been at this previous resistance level. And so the trend can continue. So because of that, I like to look at prior swing highs and prior candle closes for uh, kind of a, an initiation for a bullish trade. So, you know, while if you wanted to be a little bit more aggressive on this one, you know, I don't mind entering on a bullish green three candle that closes above the previous two and one. But what I really like to see even more is a break above that previous high at roughly 70 cents, um, because that shows that the trend has strength to break out to new highs and really test into some uh, uncharted territory no pun intended there. Gotcha. So right now we're at 65, 65 cents. Yes. So if, so for you, if it hits 70 cents, let's say in the next hour or two, you would be, you would feel more comfortable getting into this position. Uh, definitely. Yeah. Because that shows me the confirmation of buyers are interested and that that sentiment score that Alex mentioned previously is being demonstrated in price action actually coming to fruition. Perfect. Makes, makes sense. So this is a good lesson for everybody, including myself. As we were doing a couple of shows before, uh, we were talking about, I forgot, I think it was Orchid and we we're talking about it. And CJ's like, yeah, you know, if we just wait till this, this one price point and we get this and I was like, I bought it. So uh, yeah, <laughs> make sure as you're, as you're sitting at home, just, uh, you know, if you take a look at this again, not financial advice, anything you should do, but uh, I'm going to wait on this one and see if it hits that 70 cents and then I will actually be purchasing them now. The real question is now it comes to me, what the heck is NEM? So let me share my screen real quick. We can go over that. So here we are, turn the chain. So I go to Kungeku because it has a nice little breakdown. Here's NEM in the 16th spot. Actually, pretty good so far 12%, 24 hours, 15% for the week. Not too shabby. So if we go over here, take a look at the charts, and I'll bypass that. That's not my job. So NEM, and every time I would talk about this, I'm like, what is going on with NEM? Why is this such a big deal? Because it seems like the last three, four weeks, it's been going up and up and up. So NEM, highly versatile crypto solution, adhere to a host of mainstream, okay, whatever. Ran Java, scraps, great. Uh, has a stated goal of a wide distribution model, new features in blockchain tech, proof of importance and most features, okay. NEM also features an integrated peer-to-peer -peer secure encrypted messaging system, multi-signature accounts, and an EIGN trust plus reputation system. So I think I, I talked about this before, just like for the messaging platforms that we have, like we have, like Alex talked about this uh, before we got on WeChat, Line, those types of places uh, in Southeast Asia or in China. If you have these peer-to-peer -peer organizations or these, uh, these text messaging apps that you can send money on or cryptocurrency on, I think that would be a pretty big uh, boom, especially if you were in a suppressed area. So I would say that is why NEM is going up and making strides. Um, I can see this actually working out pretty well. It's not like it doesn't have uh, a non-use case. So sure. All right, so let's go with that. So the thing that we'll do as always We'll take a look at, uh, there's a link in the description. You can check it out. It's uh, bit.ly forward slash Trinity Trading. All the trades that we do or we talk about, again, not financial advice, this is what I will be doing. I will be uh, waiting to see if NEM, let me put this in now so I don't forget. I guess it's NEM. What's the day today? First. Today is the first. What time is it? It is 3.30 Eastern time. All right. 
So I'm in Houston. So I was going to go central standard time today. And the price we said was 0 0.65, but actually I'm going to wait till 70 cents and then we're going to get in. So let's see if we can, if we can hit that mark and go from there. Now, the next question I have is where the heck can I buy this? Can I even buy this? <laughs> <laughs> you can, I think you can buy it on uh, uni. <laughs> where all the great coins reside. So I can, I can spend 25 to get 30. Sounds good. <laughs> exactly. So if you're ever looking for where to buy things, CoinGecko has got a pretty good, you just uh, click on the, the pairs and go from there. CBG Poloniex. Does, do, do, can Americans use BitHum anymore? It's a good question. I'm not sure. KuCoin, I think. KuCoin you can use. So that'll be it. Um, so we'll go with that. And then, you know, what's, what I always wonder about this one is that they don't list a, uh, brokerage like I, I never see Voyager on here as one of the options probably because it's a brokerage but you'd think they would list those types of things unless I'm I think wrong they're a little behind maybe they don't know how great Voyager is yet oh Alex me and you are the <laughs> biggest shills of Voyager come on let's just admit it. <laughs> you know All right. Rob am I allowed to do a little extra credit with this episode of course what you got all right one of the things that um you know, CJ showed with the chart and the various volume. Um, I just want to go ahead and show a little something as well, because what we call TA uh, with sentiment trading is the affirmation. And that's one of those things where you look, the numbers look good on the sentiment. For instance, you know, I see 74% uptake in relative trading volume. So I know that there's market participants in the order book, right? And that's one of the reasons why I like it. But then if I, if I want that affirmation, I'm going to go to someone like CJ and say, hey, listen, what are the charts telling us? Uh, where's the volumes and whatnot? And obviously, where are the bullish or bearish patterns coming? Another thing that I want to kind of delve into real quick is that I also, blue is price green and red is sentiment. And I can also tell by this chart that sentiment is matching up with price on them. Um, lockstep. So this is this, the chart, the numbers, they all equal affirmation. And I just want to say, I implore all traders to have, you know, all the tools that they can use in order to enter a position smartly. That was it. Perfect. And of course, do your own research before you make any trades or any type of, because it is your money, right? Good enough. All right. So, We'll wait a little bit, but it's looking pretty good. All right. And if you want to learn more about Trade the Chain and Market Rebellion, there is a link in the description. Uh, Trade the Chain, there's a 14-day uh, money-back guarantee and trial or something like that. Yep. And then uh, Market Rebellion, I think you can start learning how to trade for a buck, which is pretty cheap. All right. Well, gentlemen, that's it for today. So we'll see how we do. We'll meet up again in a week and see if this is a winner of a trade. Anyhow, if you like the video, uh, I appreciate you guys watching all the way to the end. Hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe, uh, as all these things are time sensitive, especially episodes like this. Anyhow, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next one. And that's it. And fade to black. <laughs>